Ryan can hardly contain himself. Going to be asking my girlfriend to hotel. I despise the cheese. Oh, maybe you keep singing until you get oh, no! Thank you to Big Potato Games for sponsoring this video. Welcome to today's vlog. We are at Staples. Please don't mind the terrible music in the background, but we are here because Ryan, Staples is an office supply store for those of you guys who might not be in America, don't know what Staples is. We are here because Ryan is buying some poster board because he is going to be asking my girlfriend to hotel. Like it's not already implied. Right. Um, well, you have to get the invite. You have to get the... She wants to learn. She what do you call it? A, you call it a... Well, and for prom, it's called a prom proposal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoko proposal. Yeah, it's just like asking. Yes, me. yes. So we're trying to decide between... Okay, this... She's the biggest Taylor Swift fan you'll ever meet. And we found this board that's all glittery and sparkly. And... And then we found this board, too, that has, like, sparkles on it. So we so tried to decide. So this could be... I'm gonna use my knowledge from what I know from her. The black and silver would be like reputation. And then the gold. <laughs> Ryan's about to drop all the eras for you because he not, knows them all now. I'm it's a little happy, embarrassing. I'm not happy that I know. <laughs> but you best believe she knows all about the Chargers. So. <laughs> right. Yeah, out of respect for your girlfriend, um, you know all the Taylor Swift. Yeah. But, so this would be like her. I'm trying to figure out what this glitzy gold would be. So he's trying to decide which one to get because based be, on which Taylor Swift he, line he might use in uh, the in the yeah. Hoko proposal. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, stay tuned. We'll so let you know. Okay, so I did some digging and I think this is fearless. Um, and now I'm not sure what line I want to go off of, but I'm going to look at things from Fearless Invitation. And what does that mean when you say that is fearless? Is so it it's like her album or her why glitter like was there glitter on the album i don't understand it's, it's gold they're like there's there's different colors that go with every album uh, i see so, okay and that one is gold. and she wears different um costumes costumes for each era uh i think okay got it so yeah yeah like look this is this is fearless see, see it's like the uh the gold oh okay all right um, you could buy both and oh. then return whichever one you don't use. Well, love story is on Fearless. Oh, so wow, that just makes sense. I mean, yeah, it would almost be offensive oh, wait, if you oh, didn't wait. use those. Oh wait, you belong story. with me is on. <gasps> you belong with me at Hoko. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. All right, you guys, gold it is. <laughs> that was easy. Help. So you're out to dinner right now. We like to go to Smash Burger. I know it's light, it's bright. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Are you eating those fries, Mom? You, you can have some. Are you eating those fries? Can I, can I just dump them? What do you want? <laughs> uh, eat them, eat them, eat them, eat them. You guys, we're at Smash Burger, and it's a triple date tonight. It is Nana Pat, and oh. Callie and Ryan, and Mike and Jill, and we get, it's $5 burger night. It's like the best thing ever. So we all got our Smash Burgers, and, but none of us could finish it, so Ryan is collecting all the rest of the Smash Burgers. I had some French fries, but somewhere they're gone. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere, look at Ryan. <laughs> I don't let stuff go to waste. These fries are way too good. That's right. They're very good. Did you like yours, Callie? Very good. Excellent. Very How good. about you, Ryan? Good? Fantastic. Rate your burger. A 10. Dad, rate your burger. Good burger. Good burger. Yeah? Rate your burger, Nana. <laughs> I would say it's a nine and a half. Wow. Rate your burger, yeah, Mike. I'll go with nine and a half. All right, I gotta tell you, I think I'm gonna go with 10. I'm like Ryan, and it was like, it's not too big. Sometimes burgers are huge, and they've got too much, and then they're not cooked enough. This was perfect. It resembled, oh, it resembled a Shake Shack burger, uh, and that's, a, that's an 11 for me. Right. So that's, that's how I got the burger. We are Shake Shack fans. Yeah. But I think this might even be better. It's bigger, and it's more substantial. No? Callie does not, I don't want to put you on the spot, but Callie is not a condiment person. So she has no ketchup on her fries or her burger, Michael. No Definitely. cheese on the burger either. No cheese either. So it was, I'm did you have lactose intolerance. So oh, okay. Well, that's part of it. Okay, okay. Yeah. So did you have a Just bun? <laughs> Just tolerate it? Is that what you said? Just tolerate it. <laughs> did you have a bun and two patties? Do you eat lettuce and tomato on it or no? I am. <laughs> 
deconstructed her burger. She ate bread and meat. <laughs> put it together. <laughs> yeah. But you're happy, I hope? Yeah. She killed the fries. You guys believe Would you do it again? First. Yes. Yes. Okay. Excellent. That is the ultimate that she would come back and do it again. All right. So I'm going to be going to flight attendant training and I've asked everybody here to show up every Thursday night and eat smash burgers in my honor while I'm gone. And mom said no. Why? Me and Dad got you covered. We'll, we'll come to Smash Burger. If you, you'll just give you, you'll just give us like money to pay for it. You know, throughout the month, we'll come to Smash Burger, watch some Thursday night football, and be great. That sounds like a pretty good plan. I watch it here. We're in the bar. Mike, we go Smash Burger, please. Thank you. All right, Ryan can hardly contain himself because tonight is the opening of the NFL season, and. They already had a kickoff. Ryan, who's playing? Lions and Chiefs. <laughs> Lions and Chiefs and Bears. Oh my! Who are you rooting for? I'm rooting for the Lions. <laughs> I despise the Chiefs. For all those people out there from Kansas City, um, we apologize. No, I, don't. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't. If you're a Chiefs fan, I'm sorry. I don't like you and. Sorry. No, I it's not. I don't that, like Chiefs fans at all. No. You don't either? No. 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 Why? Why don't you? No. Because of him? Don't like, we don't. <laughs> Wait, we like the people. We don't like no, the fact no, that they no, really no, don't. Oh my no, gosh, no, you guys. No. no. <laughs> the exact opposite, actually. Matt, you're hurting me. All right, so comment down below who you guys don't like. If you don't like somebody, of course, we like everybody, no. Ryan. No, we don't, Mom. Oh, Callie, really is he sorry, dragging man. you down? No, no. I mean, he's. I'm right. <laughs> He's right. You. Unless you're a really nice person. <laughs> and, you, and you're and you just wayward for liking the Chiefs. So you're just like, shoot, I didn't realize I shouldn't like the, she the Chiefs, right? Oh, no. right. So maybe, you, okay, so how about all you Chief likers? Maybe you should, like, just look inside and think yeah, about it. Just realize that. And realize that the Chargers is who, is who you should probably like. Yes. <laughs> so, Callie, you're a Chargers fan now. I <laughs> yeah, you do. So just like Ryan is a Taylor Swift fan. Right, Swifties, exactly. What is it, buddy? Are you meowing? You guys just missed it, he's meowing. Okay, it's ready for the time for their dinner, you guys. I feed them dinner, and this is what I'm a little bit concerned about while I'm gone. Ryan, you've agreed to do dinner for the cats when I'm gone, right? Reluctantly. Oh, why do you say that? Because it smells horrible, Mom. I know. I feel like I'm gonna throw up every time I open that can. <laughs> um... And it's times two, because there's two of them. <laughs> Uh, and they each require different food for some reason. <laughs> and the worst part is you could only put half the can in. Instead of just opening it and dumping it and holding your nose, you have to dice it up and take out half of it. As I love the cats, but I'm not I'm not I'm not ecstatic okay. about you know. Oh, you'll do it, Callie. Yeah. I'll do it. Thank you, very soon. Do you feed your dog um wet food? No. Oh, just dry food? Mm -hmm. Okay. We do a little bit of wet food because with cats, apparently they um, get dehydrated easier. So you're supposed to feed them wet food too. Mm -hmm. Comment down below, you guys, if you know anything about that. But that's what I was told. So they eat wet food too. Especially with Eddie and his little, um, his little kidney issue he's got going on. Okay, you guys ready for dinner? So this is what I do, you guys. And this is Ryan. I'm basically making this video for you. So while I'm gone, you can watch this video and you know what, exactly what to do. All right, first of all, you want a treat. Normally, I don't give you a treat before dinner, but I am going to because you're such a good boy. You ready? Here he is. You ready for your treat? Look at my vet calls these little snicker bars, so you should really only give them little four baby little snicker bars. There you go. You're okay. What? Are you distracted because Dad's coming in? There you go. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Okay, Alice, you ready for din, din Come on in. Okay, so this is where we go out here in the garage. If we've already opened the food. Oh, I don't see Alice has a half, so I'm gonna take that out. Hey, Alice. Dad doesn't like doing this. He doesn't do this. Okay, come on in. I know. Hi, sweet girl. Oops. <laughs> They got scared because this thing fell over. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Come over here. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Come on, it's dinner time. Eddie, you ready too? Come on. That is Alice's dish. That's other toys they don't include. That's Alice's. This is their regular dry food, and that is Edward's. The reason they eat separate food is because Eddie has a little bit of a kidney issue. So he is on prescription food. So we have the dry food is prescription. So he and Alice both eat it. But the wet food, she doesn't need to eat the prescription. Sorry, she doesn't need, need to eat the prescription, but he does. So, and he didn't, it's not as tasty as the regular food. So I give Alice the regular food and then Eddie gets his prescription food. Uh-oh. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Look at their ears, aren't they cute? All right, it's game time. We are back after dinner and we, Callie and I are taking on Ryan and Mike, and we are so gonna win. Chicken versus hot dog has taken water bottle flipping and elevated it to the next level. You got yourself a chicken and a hot dog. You flip that chicken in and a hot dog according to the challenge cards. If you win the bet, then you get to complete the challenge. If you win the challenge, then you get to turn over a card and build your hero. The first team or person to build their hero wins. First challenge card, Ryan, what you got? First challenge card. One uh, eye closed flip. Oh, oh! One eye closed flip! Put your bid card face down. Face down. One, two, three. Oh, oh. four. So you got it. You got it. Oh! oh. You didn't get it? We get our first character card. So let's go this way. Super flip. Must complete at least two rotations. Good luck, everybody. Oh, oh, you want to go again? Are you ready? Oh. oh! Ah! The twin flip double. It means throw both. Oh, so at the same time. All right. Oh, shoot. We have to do it. Yeah! yeah. link in the description and Big Potato Games is offering all of our family 15% off if you use the code DONGLY15 at checkout. They have so many other games too <laughs> but definitely check out Chicken vs. Hot Dog. It is a hoot. Ryan headed up to bed. It is a school night. He had to um, he has to get up really early tomorrow. I, on the other hand, okay, this is what I've got going on. This is my pile for my flight attendant training. Um, I have all of these things. I'm going to bring two suitcases and probably a backpack and a purse. And then I'm coming back with three suitcases. I will explain it all a little bit later. I'm not gonna get into all that now, but I just want you to know what I'm up against right now. So this is, I am T minus three days. Today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I leave on Sunday. So I am T minus less than three days before I leave. So I'll be working very diligently the next few days to um, finish. I've got to do a little bit of shopping and then I've got to put everything together. I have like, 3,000 checklists. I have a little bit more studying to do and um, get together all kinds of stuff for the um, for the family before I go, like food and cat stuff and just sort of all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to be spending um, the rest of my days doing. I'm so happy that I got a chance to go out to dinner with my parents tonight because that is um, something I wanted to make sure to do. And it's great to see Callie. I hope I get to see Callie and mom and dad again before I go. Um, and I hope I at least get to have one more trip to the beach. But uh, four weeks away is something I've never done before. Well, I've 
been away from my family for four weeks. My, like when I traveled when I was younger, but not when, not my like husband and children. So anyway, I'm looking forward to it, but I am a little bit nervous, but I'm going to get to bed right now because I need to, I have a full, 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 full day tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment below what made you guys happy today. Definitely what made me happy today was having, um, having fun and going to dinner with um, everybody and then playing that game was awesome. That was always so much fun. Um, and be sure to watch this video where we played another game called Herd Mentality. It was super fun when we were at the beach this summer. See you guys later. Bye.